All right, what do we got today? What's cracking about the truckers? Hey, yellow! So I heard that you guys went to the liquor store and got a bunch of weird beers. Yeah, I went to the liquor store and I got some weird beers. I went over to that one place and I got weird beer from the liquor store. <laughs> Well, I think I think everybody understands what's going on here now. <laughs> so what are we gonna be doing with this weird beers? I got the weird beer number one. Oh, weird beer number one. This is a strawberry lager. Okay, strawberry lager from Abita, a brewing company, which I think I've had something from Abita before. Something sounds familiar about that. So this is strawberry lager. I'm not a big strawberry guy. The only flavor of strawberry stuff that I like, I think, is cheesecake and edible underwear. The hell? This smells like a normal beer. Smell that. Hold on, get, in it. Oh. get Brella's big nose in here. Smell that. It does. It just smells like a, a regular beer. Give it a sip. Strawberry lager. Here we go. Oh, there's the strawberry. Whoa, dude, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. That's super weird. Whoa! <laughs> Come here, try this. That's not bad at all, dude. I, I, I'm trying to th think of like, it, it's, like a, uh, it's like a strawberry flavored Bud Heavy. That's not bad at all. Definitely not light, but dude, that's good. Yeah. And an aftertaste. Yeah, it's like it's not. It just keeps. <laughs> it just keeps coming. <laughs> dude, that's pretty gosh dang good, man. Strawberry freaking lager, Abita Brewing Company. That, that's pretty freaking weird, dude. I would drink this again, bro. I'll try it. I would drink that again, one hundred percent. Oh yeah, I that's love, not bad. I love lagers. We're number two. Uh, here we go. Key lime pie. Key lime pie cream ale. What the dick? This is brewed in Denver, Colorado by 14er Brewing. All right, key lime pie cream ale. This is interesting. Very cool uh, can looking here, key lime pie. We just had the strawberry, now we're going to key lime pie. It's a little dessert beer, I guess we're doing today. hey -ya! Here we go. Wow. Yep, that smells just like key lime pie. Holy dick, dude. This is getting me excited. <laughs> what? It made my inner demons come out. <laughs> they just like spit out of my mouth. Ugh. That one is no bueno. Ale brewed with fresh key limes and spices. Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. Get you a swig of that, bro, law. Nah, bruh. I think it's time for a dip. Hello, Southern Sweet Tea. I don't want to say too loud because, well. <laughs> You probably understand. This is a brand new can. I'm born to love again. I got a brand new can. <laughs> Eat your heart out, Brooks and Dan. <laughs> Crack this Southern sweet tea. Oh, dang. smells better than that key lime pie cream ale, dude. God dang. There we go. Look at that juicy goodness right there. Outlawdip.com. Yeah. Here we go. Mm. Dude. Is that... It's definitely the one. Ah, magic of the day! The newly re-released copper chrome mud jug. Look how psychedelic that thing looks. Did I take mushrooms? Did I just take LSD? I don't know. Get over to mudjug.com and get you one now. If you want to trip some balls. We should go to the tripping balls mud jug. Stringy spit, sorry, it's that key lime pie. <laughs> ah! Next one! How many did we get, by the way? Five. Oh. No way. Double orange cream sickle milkshake. What the freaking dick? This is by Weldworks Brewing. Where are these guys out of? Greeley, Colorado. I think these are all Colorado beers and stuff around here. I I told in law. I told in law whenever he was going to the store, I said, just get the weirdest beers that you can find. He was saying that he could only find some like Colorado brewed stuff. So I'm thinking if you guys enjoy this and you guys want to see some more weird beers and you never heard of, we need to do more of these. We need to do like a part two and stuff like that, but we need to order them from different parts of the country. Look how freaking brown my gosh dang pinkies, my pinky, my fingers are. Good Lord, dude, this outlaw dips the juicy stiff all the time. <laughs> it's only freaking noon, I'm already getting a buzz. <laughs> Speaking of noon and checking time, I want to say thank you to our sponsor for today. Vincero Watches. Listen, there's a few things that you guys just don't know about me. And one of those things is I'm a pretty big watch guy. I like them all. I like to go to different companies and I like to see what they have to offer me, right? I love watches. It's a statement piece. I mean, if I didn't wear this watch right now, these two could not take me serious. Like, watch this. Hey, where are you going? Are you okay? Where'd he go? So you wanna hang out later or? Uh, no. 
Hey man, you want to hang out later? Yeah, you seem like a pretty sophisticated person. Sure. See what I'm saying, guys? And as a watch guy, I can tell you right now, Vincera watch is super high quality. And this is actually their Rogue version. This is their Rogue black and gray, which I freaking love. The reason I got the Rogue version is because I'm always in the outdoors, fishing, hunting, no matter what. And this is the watch for you if you are the same. Scratch resistant, water resistant, you can switch out the bands. And the most important thing is all them wild animals take me serious with this son of a dick on. <laughs> That's what I thought. Listen, you may be a watch guy, you may not be, but I talked to Vincero. We're getting you guys some freaking moolah off. So if you guys are about to purchase your first watch, save you some moolah by doing this. Vincero.com slash outlaw. Use the code outlaw and get 15% off. Just click that link in the description box below. Pick the watch you want. Like I said, this is the Rogue. And use code outlaw and save you some moolah. All right, back to this. Double orange cream sickle milkshake. What the freaking hell? And this isn't a milkshake, right? It's a, it's an IPA. It's a double IPA, they say. I'm not a big fan of IPAs, dude. Here we go. Whoa. Yep, definitely an IPA and definitely orange. Here we freaking go. Cheers, mother trackers. Yeah. Whoa, demons almost came out of me on that one. Not as bad as the chemo. Almost. Oh, gotta do a little dance. Make a little love. Gonna puke tonight. <laughs> Yeah, this one's not that good. Mm. Ugh, very bitter. Whoa, I'm not a big, this is a double IPA, so it's double the bitterness. Yuck! Not a big IPA guy. Definitely tastes orange. I don't taste like a milkshake. I think they just put milkshake on there for marketing purposes or something like that, because maybe it, uh, but oh, whoa, the alcohol volume in this, eight and a half percent. Try this one, in long. Try that guy out. What do you freaking think of that guy? Come on camera, dude. What the hell are you doing? Come over here. What do you think? Mmm. I'm okay with IPAs, but. Give me your demon. <laughs> What's next? Next. I'll let you read that one. Whoa, he let me read this one? Mm -hmm. Diad, funky, sour, and farmy. Whoa, what the hell? Q kiwi, cucumber, jalapeno? What the sh With kiwi, cucumber, and jalapeno. It's a kombucha-inspired sour ale. What the hell? Whoa. Dude, it smells like a freaking salad. All right, here she freaking blows, ladies and gentlemen. The kiwi, cucumber, jalapeno. Whoa! It's spicy and sour. Whoa! Come here, come here, come here now. Come here now. <laughs> right when it hits your... Whoa! <laughs> what does that taste like? What is that, dude? Whoa, Brilla. Your turn. <laughs> Oh, uh, no. Uh, Whoa. Uh, see what I'm saying? Uh, uh. Dude, that's freaking actually pretty good, man. It's sour, it's spicy, it's not sweet, but bro is like. Face. <laughs> wow, that'll give you stringy spit. Holy crap. That's gross. Mm. You don't like that one? Mm, nah. Okay, you definitely get the jalapeno in there, which yeah. is weird, but I like jalapeno, so I'm not too shabby with it. Is this the last one? Last one. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? Snares. What? It's a s'mores beer? Well, this is by Weldworks Brewing again. S'more like a sour. Kettle soured wheat ale. Tastes like s'mores. What the freaking crap, dude? Brewed with smoked malt, milk chocolate, toasted marshmallows, vanilla, and milk sugar. I'm definitely gonna gain some pounds off of this guy. Oh boy, here we go. Oh my gosh, dude. It smells like a freaking chocolate milkshake. What the hell? Whoa. That's freaking crazy, man. Smell, guys. Like hot chocolate. You two got smell vision yet? Come on now. What are they doing? They're too busy demonetizing my vidges. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it tastes like exactly like a s'more. It tastes like chocolate protein shake. What the heck? 
Isn't that crazy? Dude, whoa, Jim. Holy, get a lick of that. Get some of that liquor. It's like watered down huh. hot chocolate almost. Yeah, it's like yeah. watered down hot, hot chocolate. chocolate. That's what it tastes yeah. like. Holy crap, man. Yeah, it says it's it's like a sour beer as well, but I don't really get much sourness. Just it's like a yeah, watered down hot chocolate is what it kind of tastes like. That's so weird. <sighs> Man, good thing we named this video trying weird beers, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trying weird beers from the weird liquor store. <laughs> I think we're drunk. All right, so we got the s'mores beer. We have the cucumber jalapeno. That's freaking weird. Double orange cream sickle. The key lime pie. And the strawberry lager. Now, which one is my favorite? I would have to say the strawberry lager. That first one was actually pretty good. Yeah. It just had a tiny little strawberry taste to it, but I could definitely see myself drinking. Please tell me you got a six pack of this down there. No. Uh, hold on one second, guys. You son of a- ah, I hate you! Ah, come on! Ah, let me get somebody down! Ah. Okay, um, <clears throat> so yeah, this was probably my favorite. The key lime pie, definitely the freaking worst. The weirdest out of all of them, 100% would have to be the freaking, what the, kiwi cumber jalapeno, dude. That is just not even right, dude. It's kind of good, but sweet and spicy and sour and cucumbery. That's exactly what it says on the back. That's exactly <laughs> what my brain is thinking. I don't know, y'all. These are pretty freaking weird. But if you guys got any other weird beers that are in your area and you guys want to let us know and us try them on a video, make sure to let us know in the comments below. Also, before I forget, guys, we released some new merch a couple of days ago. Some new Outlaw Outdoors t-shirts. Now, it's not the merch that's cool. Yeah, it's cool, whatever, over on outlawmerch.com. But no, no, no. The cool thing about the t-shirts is you guys can win a hunt with me this November. Every Outlaw Outdoor shirt that you order, we'll put the picture right up here. Every shirt that you order counts as an entry. And we are going to be picking the winner on October 1st. So from now until September 30th, it is going on. All you gotta do is order a shirt, order one, order two, order three, however many you want. And we are gonna be picking the winner October 1st and you will win a trip to archery deer hunt with myself in Missouri at my boys Ridge Runner Outfitters Farms. I don't have the t-shirts yet because they're brand new, spanking new, but maybe the next video I will. So go over to outlawmarch.com, get you a shirt if you want, and maybe you'll be coming hunting with me this fall. All right, I think that's about it. Like I said, guys, if you have any other weird beers you want me to try and you guys enjoy this video, make sure to smash thumbs up and let me know in the comments what we should try next. Before I go, last video we said, if anybody downloaded that game and got to level 10, I'll give you a freaking shout out. I'll pick somebody at random. I got two people for you and I'm giving them a shout out right now. Grizzle Fizzle BD and Sean Davis. There's your guys' shout out. Appreciate you getting the game. Ah, I reckon we'll see you on the dip side. My name's Outlaw and I'm out, y'all. And always remember, no matter what you're doing, 25 8, 366. Keep it freaking hell, bitch.